Professor Silly Bob. What are you thinking about? Ah, there you are, Flo. Goodbye and welcome to Silly Bob Science. I was just thinking about how brilliant it must be to be a tree. The outdoor lifestyle, being the height of a tall building, the strange sensation of firemen rescuing cats from you. Silly Bob, you're a scientist, not a gardener. Why are you thinking about trees? I'm thinking about trees because I'm a scientist. Didn't you know trees are scientific marvels? You would not believe how ingenious they are and how incredibly useful they are to you and me. And it's not just because they're where I keep my socks. You see, in order to live, people and animals need food and water, a place to live and air to breathe. Trees help with all of these things. Here, let me show you. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, it's you! Oh, Mama, that was a powerful sneeze. Bless you, silly Bob. A tree is a type of plant with a thick wooden trunk which extends out into branches, usually with leaves growing on them. Their trunks are usually protected by a thick layer of bark. Under the ground, they are supported by roots which draw up moisture and nutrients from the soil. Oh, but you knew that already, so how about some tremendous facts? All sorts of different trees are found all over the planet. In fact, it's estimated that there are around 3 trillion trees on Earth right now. Some trees can live incredibly long lives, and some even live for thousands of years. It's crazy to think that there may even be trees alive today that were around at the same time as woolly mammoths. That's older than that cheese sandwich I found down the back of my sofa. Judging by the smell, I'd say that cheesy bad boy was from at least 1994. Many of our favourite fruits grow on trees. Apples, pears, plums, cherries, oranges, lemons, hot dogs. Hot dogs don't grow on trees, silly Bob. Not yet they don't, but I'm working on it. Trees provide homes and shelter for lots of different animals including birds who nest in their branches. But people use trees, or rather the wood that comes from trees, to build homes. My laboratory, for example, is made from wood. But perhaps my favourite thing about trees is what they do for our planet. You see, humans breathe in air and breathe out carbon dioxide. That means we breathe out an invisible gas made from carbon combined with oxygen. However, trees take in the carbon from the carbon dioxide, putting the oxygen into the air, ready for us to breathe. That's a win-win situation, silly Bob. You're not wrong, Flo. Want to see an experiment where we can actually see this happen? For this experiment, I've taken a bowl of water. I'm going to add in a leaf, and I'm going to use a coin to weigh the leaf down so it doesn't float to the top. We'll wait for around about one hour. And look, the leaf is covered in bubbles. What you're looking at is the oxygen that the leaf has produced. Imagine that, but with every leaf in a forest. Because trees take carbon out of the air, it also helps to keep the planet's overall temperature more stable because they store all the carbon in their trunks instead of putting it in the air or atmosphere. Scientists have run experiments which show that the overall temperature of the planet is closely related to how much carbon is in the atmosphere. However, there's a sad side to this too. Unfortunately, because trees are so useful, they can be chopped down for their wood, or sometimes they're cleared away so that the land can be used for other purposes. In some parts of the world, trees are vulnerable to forest fires. That's sad, silly Bob. Well, the way I look at it is this. If humans help to create this problem, then humans need to help create the solution. I recently heard about a group of people trying to raise money to plant 20 million trees. It's a campaign created by several YouTube creators called Team Trees. For every dollar donated, they've made a commitment to plant a tree. That sounds very promising. I have a question, silly Bob. Where do trees come from? Trees grow from seeds, which come from the tree itself. In fruit trees, the seed is often found in the fruit. 
In nature, the fruit, including the seed, is eaten by an animal, only to be um, deposited at a different location. Once the seed finds its way into the soil, it will be surrounded by all the nutrients it needs to grow. It's not instant, silly Bob. Remember, trees take a long time to grow. Ah, uh, yes. Well, I'll tell you what, Flo. I'll keep this plant in my lab, and we can check back on it in the future. Now I just need to find a hot dog seed, and all my dreams will come true. Thanks for all the tree facts, silly Bob. I hate to ask, but are you any closer to working out how to get me back in my body? Not your body, no. Hmm. Thanks for watching Silly Bob Science. Please consider subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on all our new episodes. We really appreciate you watching the show. If you have any questions for Silly Bob, please leave them in the comments. Hello!